Alright, welcome back, welcome back, part two, part two. So, how are we doing? Right, what is going on? That's my catchphrase, obviously. What the fuck is going on? And uh, what is going on out there? Oh, Jesus Christ, that looks nasty. Oh, wow, oh shit. Oh God, I really wish I'd never seen that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh God, I hope it's gonna be okay. Oh no, some geezer's jacking up his car to change a tyre and the tyre's come down on his little, on his, on his uh, wrist. Ooh, he's, he's alright, but he's having issues. Um, oh yeah, the missus is coming out, yeah. Uh, the tyre's still on, sort of, but he didn't jack the car up in the right place. Uh, that can happen, and I just caught that. Uh, I hope it's going to be okay. That looks like a broken wrist to me. Oh, nasty. Anyway, anyway, how are all you lot doing? Okay, how is everyone out there doing? How is all my 67s, even my boss at work, apparently has subscribed to me? Because, and the reason why that is is because that is just how amazing this channel is ah oh, it's good to be amazing it's not good to be great amazing all right difference learning right so it's a, a wonder actually all the there's been the rain cloud that was approaching seems to have pissed off and it's an actually beautiful sunny day out there not that I can really do much about it because I've got no money. So I am literally, I think I'm down to about eight quid. Uh, uh, but until tomorrow, till I get some tips at work. And then it's just survival money. And uh, yeah, there we go. Anyway, I'm hungry. Right, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Because I'm fucking hungry. Right, so we're going to do the batter mix. Now, basically, it's... We're doing a batter mix for the uh, onions, right? And to be honest with you, it's like I do at work. So I'm not really like, overly concerned about anything that I might not know what I'm doing. So I think I should be okay on that front. Now, at work, we put in baking powder, right? Now that's to fluff up the um the fish batter that i make because i make the fish batter personally um it's all right if you've ever had the fish batter of my pub where i work at um you'll be pleased to know that i made it right Mwah. one and only but in this one i'm gonna go for uh plain flour and i'm going for baking powder as well so, right, at work, what do I normally do? I just normally use a bit of table salt. Um, I'm going to use a bit of white pepper, okay. Nothing too mad, nothing too mad. We want to, you know, we want to, we don't want to go with the batter. Sometimes it can be a bit of a delicate mix, okay? It can be delicate. So we have to be careful. Now, with this, we're not being careful. We're going out there, all right? So we're going for a bit of half a teaspoon each of hot chili powder. And then I'm going to mix that up a little bit with a bit of smoked paprika, because I want to... About, yeah, about, about half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Now, why? Why do we need to do that? Now, the reason why is because of absolutely no reason at all. If you want to do that, that's up to you. I'm also going to put in about a teaspoon of my chicken powder. All right? So that's what we're going for. We're going to do it. I'm just going to do it because... I personally feel the need to do so. So, 
There we go. So we're going to mix that powder up. That's the first thing we're going to do. And this is the batter, right, for the onion rings. All right, that's it. Right, a bit of water. Now, at work we use um, soda water and beer. Well, that's for fish batter. We're not doing fish, we're doing onion rings, right? So I'm going to go for a bit of water. I've got to be very careful in what I use. And I want to just get it to the same sort of consistency as what I'll be using for the batter at work, which is for the fish. But when we do the fish and chips, alright? Okay, let's do that. Right, I think that's fine. It's got. It's, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Could use maybe a little bit more flour, I think, to be honest with you. That's why we do that. I said a little bit more flour, not not a fucking mouse portion of flour. And that is the professionalism. I just caught that. Did you see that? That's the dedication. Right, that is the dedication we're talking about. Okay, that's better. Right, so I've now got it to like a sort of thick paste, okay? And it's a nice, it's got a nice colour on it as well, right? So you see that? So it's got a nice gloopy colour on it. Alright, okay. So that's going to be fine. That's the batter. Right, that's the batter. So that's the batter made, basically, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, there we go. Right, let's put that back. Let's put things away. And now we need to do what we need to do, which is to clear down, all right? Okay. So, what is next? What is next? Next is the onion rings themselves. Now, I'm just going to cut off both parts of the onion that I do not need and do not do not want. So, I've got to be fairly careful here. Right, because... There we go. I just want to take off that skin. Alright, that's all I want to do. I don't want to start to be removing unnecessary onion layers, okay? Unnecessarily, because... There's a main reason for that is I'm skin, right? And I do not want to be wasting an onion. Do you know what I mean? It's like, Jesus Christ. Like, you know, we get down to these sort of levels, food, uh, you know, it's like, you know, I got the bike sorted out you know, the other day by pouring me battery charge at work. Um, it seems to be okay. You know, it's on day four. Uh, or day five, I haven't started the bike today obviously because I'm not at work um, and it got to day four and the bike was still starting so you know I'll know probably by next week right I reckon and it's not even cold yet right so we'll, we'll find out whether it's the battery or the alternator I've still got a funny feeling it's the alternator but there we go. Right, onion rings. Now I want some decent sized onion rings, straight and true. No molly coddling. No fanging around. Alright. We want straight and true onionage. That's all we want. So let's be careful. Let's take the onion rings apart in stages. Alright. Because we want to be careful. The centre onion rings, I'm not going to bother with, right? I just want literally onion ringage, alright? So, that is just how that is. And while all this is going on, we might as well just chuck them in the batter. Just chuck them in. There you go. And there we go. So, 
it's an unwinged situation. Bit of a slow part of the video on this bit really, you know, we just listening to our music, just chilling out, having a, a nice Saturday, doing our sort of Saturday minimum wagey situations, uh, which consists of uh, not a lot really. Not a lot you can do on minimum wage, it's one of them, you know, well, I'm not going to chuck these, okay? I'm going to keep them because they might be useful for something else. Now, the chances are, actually, when, when the last YouTube chef say all this, the chances are, am I going to use them again? Probably not. But I'm going to stick them in the fridge and say bollocks because you never know, right? Because you never fucking know, right? You don't know. Right, I'm going to mix these onion rings in, and when I mix them in, I'm just going to leave them in the batter. Right, because I want to make sure they're all coated and synced in with the frame of mind that we are doing on the gang. Yeah, because it's a gang of us on here, isn't there? You know, we're like rebels without a cause. You know, we're sticking it. We're sticking it to the other YouTubers, the other foodies out there and saying, no, mine's better, isn't it? Is it better? Don't know. Don't know, who cares? It possibly is. It's like I said before, ages and ages ago. We are literally waiting for that letter from Mitchell, all right? Because I know, and all, all the people in the gang already know we all know that i'm too awesome right we already know that we can't we just can't compete with the sergeant yeah we know that right it's not it's not a mystery it's not a mystery to man it's not a mystery to me cat or to oh it's bag man again oh why is he walking round here it's the geezer who carries 15 bags of shopping with shit in it. And his shoes, and his trainers are too big. And he's done them, he's done the laces up in that really gay way where it's all like bows and stuff. Oh, he's such a tosser. He just walks past it. Right, like, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Right, breadcrumbs. Now, I want a bit of breadcrumbage going on. Now I'm just going to parch these in here and hopefully that will be enough for the rest of the onion rings, okay? So, oh, what do you do? I don't know what to do. I really don't. So, oh, I don't fucking know. I really don't. I, I, I sometimes almost despair. Do you know that? I really do. Right, I'm going to put a bit of butter in it up because I want to toast my buns off. Alright. So, I've got the bun that I'm using. It is a farmhouse bun. Now, there's reasons for that. Alright. Now, I could have gone for a white bat. I could have gone for Uh, a really flash bun, but I've decided to go for the farmhouse bun that I had and that I used in my last video. Now, why is that? Well, A, I think they're quite nice, and B, it's because I basically didn't want to spend any more money really on uh, another bun. Um, I, I, I don't think that's, I don't, I think that's fine. Um, I think that's not a problem to say. Um, I'm going to butter them as well. We'll give them a nice little butterage. So we've got some nice fat going on in there. Because if, you know, butter is fat as well. It's just a more, you know, it's a more natural fat. It's a more healthy fat for you. So that's what I'm going to fucking do. Alright, so that's the plan. Right, meat. Let's get the meat out. Let's get the meat out. 
Because everyone's waiting for it. Yes, I know. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. Oh, right. Okay, here we go. Meat. Out. Right. Now, I want to try and use all this meat. Now, I want to pate out. The reason why I've got the buns out is because I can gauge roughly what size of patty I'm going to be using for my burgers because I want them to come over the edge all right I want the burgers to come over the edge of that patty so let's have a look let's smash it in the middle and let's get another one let's place that on there and let's just squeeze it down but it needs to be quite thin it does need to be quite thin. You can feel the consistency. Don't worry about the shape. Don't worry about the shape of the patty. As long as it's bigger than the burger circumference, which it is, it'll be fine. All right? And the thinner you flatten these patties, don't take the piss. Like, don't go... <coughs> don't go rainbow, man. And go, oh, I'm going to thin them out until they're like literally the thickness of my Rizla paper. Don't do that. That would be stupid. But just, you know, you want them quick. You want them cooked in quick succession. All right? And that's the plan. I mean, it might not be your plan. It might be my plan. It could be anyone's plan. You know, it could be bad man's plan. It won't be bad man's plan. Cause it'll just go to like a boat. A low, it'll, it'll, it'll probably go to a kebab house. Right, it'll probably go to the kebab house and go, oh yeah, that's better. Um, well, I wouldn't. Personally, I don't eat kebabs, so there we go. Not that there's anything wrong with kebabs, you know, they're probably fine in Turkey, you know, where they're not, you know, mutilating the indigenous children of a country and putting them in kebabs. Uh, so I will not have kebabs. Simple as that. I don't fancy eating, you know, English school children, frankly. So that's it. There we go. Right, so that's the burger patties made. Just leave them, they're fine. And we'll stick them over there. Right, let's get these sorted out. Oh, I can hear that fry. I can hear that nice fry and that nice toast. So we're going to toast them off and they'll be nice and gorgeous. And then once they're toasted off, right, you haven't got to worry about anything. You know, you ain't got to worry about it. It's all down to me. Because I'm looking after you. I'm saying to you, we need sorting out. I don't, my burgers do. Right, so right now I need to come up with a special sauce. Okay. Now there's a lot of ways I can go down my special sauce. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna pick three roots. There's gonna be three roots to my special sauce. If I can find it, and I can. We're going. French yellow mustard. We're going English mustard and we're going burger sauce as well. Alright, that's the roots we're taking. Alright, now instead of me waffling and talking utter nonsense, I have to keep an eye on my little burgers and my little burger buns because they are precious. They're like precious gifts. You know, you might sometimes find yourself out in the countryside and you've stumbled across a, a, wonder, a wonder of man. And that's what these are. These are a wonder of man. Look, nicely toasted, nicely buttered, nicely browned. Ooh. Oh. Right. The burgers. Burgers are different. So I know 
that is hopefully on hot enough. I want to get it at slightly hotter, right? Because I want some, I want some, some caramelisation going on with this meat. Okay. I want to, I want to feel that, feel that caveman experience. You know, with the burgers, it's beef, pork, it's gritty flavours, kicking it in there, and I want to feel it. Um. I've got one of my subscribers who I'm in regular contact with, um, Mr. John. I thank you for your commentary and uh, back and forwards going on. And he's been very informative in telling me what's the real lay of the land. And the real lay of the land is that everybody appreciates a good burger. Who'd have thought it? Right? Who'd have thought it? But it's true. It's true. No matter where you go in the world, Antarctica, the Hebrides, Australia, the Himalayas, everyone loves a burger. Why? Because it's proper. And it's proper country food. Right, first pate. Let's do it. We're going to do a pate at a time. Right? In. Look at that. Now, it's alright. Bit of sea salt over it as well. A little bit of black pepper. There you go. And there you go. Another creation of wonder. It's all right. We're taking you through the steps, all right? Sergeant will always take you through them hard working steps. You know, you might say, oh, we're going to do a burger. But there's different processes in doing it, isn't there? Yeah? Yeah, now I'm watching for the decolorization of that meat around the outside. Okay, that's the main point of this. You know, the bun's already done. My bun's are in. The bun's are in. Alright? It's now the burger. All colour. I want to know, and I want to be confident, when I flip that burger over, I've got some charcoaliness in there. I want a bit of black, yeah? I want a bit of brownish. Yeah, I actually don't want any black, to be honest with you. <coughs> uh, but, you know what I mean? So what's he going to do? I'm feeling the way at the moment. I'm shaking it. Yeah, I want to see... I'm not, I just want to leave it. This is about patience. Right, this is about knowing your product. And knowing how you've mixed it. So we've got a very nice mixture of pork and beef mince in this pate. Right, in this burger pate. Notice the juices coming out. Yeah, it's now starting to whiten around the outside. So it's telling me things. It's telling me a story. Yeah. And I want to just check. And here we go. Look at that. So I've got a nice bit of brownie going on around here. I've got a nice bit of colorization going on. And now, we just leave it, we leave it, and we season that on the side, sea salt, black pepper, same deal. Don't be tempted, <coughs> I'm going to put the extractor on, don't be tempted to get flash, right? If you want a, 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 a proper beef burger pate, as far as I would go, 
if I was going to do it, would be some very, 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 very finely sliced onion, a small onion, you know, we're talking mini onion, mini onion, mini, 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 a bit of that, yeah, and maybe some mustard, maybe, and that's it, but with this we want to leave, yeah, because this pate will cook itself out, Right, along with the same as the bacon. Yeah, the bacon. It's about taking care and taking knowledge on what you're creating in this pan. See the smoke coming off? Yeah, that smoke will tell me what's going on. Okay? At the moment, it's cooking. It's not burning, it's cooking. And I'm just taking notes of all the different bits that are going on. Alright? Now it's starting to curl up a little tiny bit. Okay? So that means... Nice. Very nice. Very nice. That's what it tells me. Alright, we'll see that over there. Okay. Okie dokie. Now the next one, slightly different. We're going to put a tiny bit of oil in there. Alright, because it is on a half, high temperature. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Now, this next one is going to be the bottom pate because it's slightly bigger, okay? So I want a bit of residual stealthiness to that bottom pate, okay? That bottom burger. So, I'm just going to keep an eye on that. I'm going to turn it down one. And it's the same process. Same process. Right, and it's eye to detail that makes these sort of things, you know, we're not talking about a McDonald's burger. We're not, we're not going anywhere near that, right? We're talking about proper home-cooked, awesome burgers done by somebody who works in the kitchen and has greater in-depth knowledge from what Abuse Joe has out on the street working in a boot shop or working in a bookshop or living out with mum and dad you know and he has some chips for dinner or the toast watchers you know the toast watchers out there they've got we've got toast watchers on our channel then you know we've got people that go oh, I want to find something really nice I want to find something entertaining. I want to follow that person who's going to give me the in-depth knowledge to all the groovy things. Well, welcome. Welcome. you found it. You know, the, the, the journey's been great. But finally it's come to an end. And you found that channel. And I welcome you. I welcome you to the game. All my subscribers welcome you to the game. And it's the gang of the sergeant. Yeah? The sergeant says welcome. Welcome to all. Welcome to all. And so does my burger pate. My burger pate says welcome to all as well. So there we go. Burgers can speak. It's speaking to me now. What's it saying to me? It's saying I need to be seasoned. I need to be seasoned. Sergeant, give me that seasoning. I want it. Alright? Taking care of products and resources and looking out there into the world and seeing this. Oh, that's a fucking care game. 
Oh my god. Right, we've now actually got a cat fight outside again. Tried this last week. What is going on? <coughs> and this is why my cat does not go out. Uh, we've now got a full down, a full blown cat stand down going on outside. Oi, fuck off. Leave it alone. Yeah, you. Unbelievable. Can you believe it's now fucked off? It's taken, it's a real bully that cat. It really is. The other cat was really tiny. I don't like bullies. Don't like them. I don't like fakes and I don't like bullies. Right. We've got a nice wild situation going on. Speaking of wild, we'll be seeing wild tomorrow probably. Let's see. Right. There we go. That's the pate done. A nice beef pate, nice and juicy. And that is just going to sit on there. And that's in now. There we go. So, we've got the burgers. We've got the sauce that we're going to create. We've got the bread crumbs that are coming up. we got the onion rings that are in their batter. And we got the buns that have been butter roasted. And there we go. Don't say anything, it fell off, I know, production issues, I know, I know, I know. Right, the French fries, they're over here. Right, they're doing their thing. You can forget about the French fries for now. You can forget about the onion rings for now. We've made the burgers. Right, let's show you. Let's just show you the burger each. Look at them babies. Right. I know it looks like one burger, but it's actually two. Obviously. So we've got two separate pâtés there. There we go. And then we got the bacon. It doesn't want to stay on there, does it? Just behave, you. You, 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 and you behave. Oh, God, it's like looking after children. It really is. I've got to do the washing yet. That cat's back again. He's just prowling round. Right, well, anyway, I'm going to call that a part two. And I will see you use lovely gang of subscribers. Part three. I'll leave it with you. Be good.